What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Antoine Campbell from CEO929.com, your place for entrepreneurial information. Listen, today we're going to be talking about how to overcome sales objection, right? So if you're working a job where you are primarily selling a product or service or goods, um, you're going to have prospects and people that's going to give you every excuse they can possibly think of and not to move forward in the sales process. And your job as the salesperson, the sales manager, sales assistant, sales associates, is to be able to understand the objections you're getting and match it with great rebuttals, right? Now, here's a few objections that may sound really familiar to you, such as, hey, man, I'm just looking. Uh, just send me a proposal. That's a good one. We can't afford this. I have to think about it. We don't need all of this stuff that you're offering. It's so many objections that you could probably be getting killed from right now. And I think that's what a lot of salespeople struggle with, guys, is that they don't have the understanding and know how to deal with these objections. So listen, if you wanna, you know, master objections, you need to understand these few steps, right? And number one is you need to commit to being a master. And what I mean by that is, first of all, you take an action on watching this video. So that's a, that's a start. But you need to get the sales training. You need to be around like-minded people. You need to network. You need to mastermind with people that's in the same field as you, that's in the same trenches as you, and share tips and secrets on how to be a better uh, sales guy. Also, take responsibility for every objection that you get. One of the things that I train my team to do is to record the calls. And then we go back and we do what we call funeral room. We listen to the tape and we could go over and we say, this is what we think you should have done better or you could have answered better, you know, and things of that sort. Define what an objection is and not. So sometimes you may uh, misinterpret an objection, but it's really just a complaint. They're complaining. So you need to define what that is, right? And you need to identify what objections uh, take place, right? And then you need to identify each objections at each part of the sales process. So if you're thinking that you just got one big sales process, you're completely wrong. There are sales cycles that you need to understand. You got some people who just started to look for the product that you may have, and they now going around to other competitors just to warm themselves up to figure out what's the best value of, of the buck they're about to spend. So you need to understand which part of the sales process that your prospect is in and prepare accordingly objections for that, right? And then you need to prepare until you can predict each objection. So when I first started out in one of my very first businesses that I hit multiple six figures with, I was selling a service that was more than um, what they could normally go get it for. I was selling tags plus my fee on top. What I mean by that is the DMV didn't work out a deal with us where we get paid a percentage of the tags. They say, hey, listen, this is what we need to make, which is retail price. And whatever you charge on top of that, that's on you. So I had to come up with a gift to convince people that my services is worth double of what you would pay for the tax. So if the tax was 158.40 at the DMV and I was charging 250, 260 or 275, um I had to present my services and I realized that um everybody wasn't a part of my sales process. I had to get the objections down pack. I had to find the right customer avatar. It was crazy, guys. Um and then I mastered all my objections until I was able to handle each objection, right? Why should I pay for this? Why is it more than the DMV? And then I came up with these um, rebuttals. And I said, well, I'll be honest with you. It was more than, if we charge more than DMV because of one simple fact, you don't have to take off for work. Now, outside the money you're losing for work, most people can't afford to take off or call off for work because they even get written up or um, they just get put in a bad spot with management. And so a lot of our customers are government employees, they work for security companies, they are principals, school teachers, where they can't just take off during the daytime and go to the DMV for eight hours, six hours, whatever the time is. And they come to us and they be gladly, um, more than happy and gladly to pay us the extra $100 because of the convenience we're bringing to their life. So 
you need to work on objections every day guys i'm telling you there's there's always multiple different types of objections and uh in the sales process there's so much to learn but in this video i'm going to try to wrap it up to try to um teach you different types of objections one is internal objections you say these to yourself two is external objections customers say these to you uh then you have the uh, valid this is an objection then you have valid but right this is an objection but won't keep your buyer from closing and then you have an invalid objection not the real objection like this is something they're saying but this is not really the real objection then you have the spoken objection you heard the objection it could be valid or invalid and then you have what we call the unspoken objection you have not heard the actual objection aka the hidden objection so that's the types of objections and i want you to get good at that and understand the difference because uh you know people are always going to be complaining to you or legitimately having objections so at the end of the day guys work on your objections work on getting good work on getting great with your prospect listen back to your calls making sure uh you understand these and before i go just remember these objections can be about even like the price the term it could be about the contract the product sometimes the timing your company itself you right the competition um sometimes buyer uncertainty third party data confusion and most importantly a lack of information so once you understand this stuff guys and you put together some great rebuttals um i guarantee you can overcome these sales objections listen if you like this video do me a favor subscribe to the youtube channel smash the like button share this with a few sales people that you know that may need this information in order to close more deals and more prospects to be the best salesperson they can be for their company and i guarantee you i keep on delivering more videos until the next time follow me on ig ceo 929 and check out the website for all of your entrepreneurship information ceo 929.com it is my duty to make sure that you be the best you can be and i see you on the next video if you have an idea about a video or a subject you want me to cover don't hesitate to write it in the description or the comment section below talk to you guys soon peace and blessings